family. Hope you guys are having a wonderful blessed day because uh, Grandma's having a wonderful blessed day. And today we're going to make a short but sweet video. <laughs> I'm not cooking anything sweet. We've done some cakes the last couple times. This is a video that I, a friend of mine shared on Facebook and another friend shared on Facebook and another friend shared on Facebook. And I thought, we have got to try this. We have got to try it. We have got to try it. And of course, I had everything in the ingredients to try it. So we are going to uh, preheat our oven to 375 degrees. With all of the different things that we've got going on, Grandpa Harold in the pantry. Mm -hmm. Get out of pantry, Grandpa Harold. We kicked him out. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so with everything uh, going on, you know, you're going to have your fall festivals. You're going to have your Halloween parties. We don't do Halloween here at the at Grammy's house. Uh, I, I do. I, I dabbled a little bit last year, but I just don't do Halloween. But I don't judge anybody who does. I love fall. And so I'm able to decorate with pumpkins and do all kinds of wonderful things because I love fall. But this would be something that would be good to serve up to the little ones, the big ones, all of them. Everybody's going to like it if you like corn dogs. So let's turn you down. And I just got a little thing here because I'm not going to make a whole lot of them. Megan doesn't care for corn dogs. She's not a hot dog eater. And uh, me and Grandpa Harold are just going to try them. So I'm just going to make four. Okay. So like I said, this is a short, sweet recipe. We're going to use four of those. I'm going to put them in the microwave and we're going to defrost them for just a few minutes. Okay, we actually put these in the microwave for about two minutes. Now I got them soft enough that I can cut them. So... I'm gonna set them out here, my counter is clean. And uh, we're going to take a knife. Don't go all the way through the corn dog. You're just gonna slice the dog. Slice the dog up. <laughs> and uh, open that up. Open it up with your finger. Okay. And you're gonna continue to do that with all the corn dogs. So let's just go ahead and And if they're still not working for you, you can thaw them a little bit more. Okay, and we're gonna turn two this way and then we're gonna put two the other way. And excuse my dog, she likes to tell people what to do when she's outside. She don't like squirrels, so she tells squirrels they ain't allowed in the yard. She don't like kitty cats, she tells cats they ain't allowed in the yard. That's lazy and she's the boss. She tells everybody what to do. Okay, so we got those. So now we're going to turn them this way. Okay, I got a can of chili. Now, my chili has beans because my husband likes it with beans. But you can get the hot dog sauce or you can get the chili without beans. It's completely up to you. It's your kitchen. You do what you want to do in your kitchen. Okay, so I'm going to open these up. And I'm going to fill them with chili. You see where we're going with this? You see where we're going with this? Mm -mm. Now you could do a corn dog casserole where you just do a layer of corn dogs and pour the chili over the top of it, put the cheese on top of it, and it would be absolutely delicious. So we are going to kind of need to make sure that opens up all the way because I want to really get the chili in there. That is so good. And this is a thick meat chili. My husband is all about the meat people. They, he likes meat. I like vegetables with meat. But he likes meat, 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 and beans. So, he picked the chili out when we was in the store. And this is the one that he wanted to, to try this recipe with. And like I said, you don't have to do the beans. I know I have at least one family that do doesn't like beans she always says oh no not the beans <laughs> but I love her I love her she doesn't have to like the beans she can get the the different chili okay so now we've got chili in there like I said I've got the oven preheating at 375 and we're gonna put some cheese on top of them 
Now remember, we have thawed those corn dogs so they're a little thawed, so they're not going to take as long. We do want to get let them get crispy. And Grammy loves the cheese, so we're going to put that in. I'm using a Kobe Jack shred. And so we're going to put that in there like that. Mm-hmm. That's going in the oven, y'all. I'll be right back. Okay, family. While them corn dogs is in the oven and they getting hot and turning into hot dogs, we're going to go through my, my screen door here. Mm-hmm. Check that out. And we're going to go outside. I'm going to give you guys an update on all my chickens. I had one of my precious sub family ask me the other night when I was doing the live about my chickens and I realized I hadn't showed you guys these beautiful nine hens and this rooster in a while. So come on, we'll sp I'll meet you outside. Okay, we're outside. We are fixing to look at these chickens. And Blanchard is already saying hello, mama. <laughs> so let me flip you guys around and you'll be able to see. See if he'll let me up in there with him. Sometimes he can be a poo-poo. There's Miss Dorothy. There. Miss There's Vera. Get back. Everybody get back. Hello, guys. Hello, babies. Hello, babies. Hello, babies. Hello, my pretty boy. That's my Blanchard. Now, all nine of them, and you can tell he's very beautiful, and he knows he's beautiful. He does dances for mom, yes, he does. So, let's go on out here. That's all my girls, they come running to the door, they're very nosy, very, very, very nosy. <laughs> he's gonna come up. Hi, Blanchard. Hi, dear Blanchard. Yeah, I know. I know. Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> he likes to talk. He's a talker. We haven't collected the eggs this evening. So, I thought I might open the hatch and let you guys see how many eggs is in there. Let's see. And you can see I got a good uh, mulch pile going over here. So, when we put a garden in next spring we'll have mulch make sure nobody's sitting in here and there's the eggs I've got I gotta do a little cleaning on those it looks like I got four right now we we'll usually collect them in a there's a fake egg in there they always kick that fake egg out but my husband collects them and then he wipes them down and he's very he's very uh, talkative <laughs> But I just love having little chickens. They just, I didn't realize how smart they are, how wonderful they are. Today they got a treat. Grandpa Harold was doing some yard work. I was at work. And he was doing some yard work. And uh, over here in this big shrub that we have, um, and we have a couple of fruit trees that we planted, but they're nowhere near being ready to have fruit on them. He found a surprise. I know, I know. <laughs> so he loves to talk to me. He's my, out of all of them, he's mine. So anyway, hope you guys can hear me because it's noisy out here. We have this great big shrub. I'll turn around so you guys can see it right here. And it grows a vine all in it that grows even up into the electrical wires. And we have to take and cut it out every year and pull it back. And this year, Grandpa Harold did it by himself. But when he got up inside of this shrub here he had a surprise he found three crab apples so there's a crab apple tree up inside of that bush I gave them to my chickens they were very happy to have them almost fell in them in a moho <laughs> but anyway I just thought I'd share that with you and okay family this done come up out of that oven and it is smelling good it's looking good and i'm just gonna tell you you can pull pull them sticks out of there i don't know why i didn't because when i saw them cooking it they left the sticks in i don't think they added quite as much chili and cheese as grandma did but uh like i said make it your own let me grab me a fork and we're gonna turn the camera down and i'm gonna show you what it looks like well, I got to go to the sink for a fork. 
It's been busy around here the last couple of days. So let me show you what this looks like. And if you see over there, we're having a salad with it tonight. But don't that look good? And it's crispy. And what I'm going to do is I ain't going to touch that pan. No, I'm not because it's hot. But I'm going to cut just a little bit off of this end right here. And I'm going to taste this for you guys. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Can you guys see that corn dog and that chili and that cheese? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Let me hold that up closer so you guys can get a good look at that. Don't that look good? And when I was making this, let me turn y'all up. Because I'm letting this cool off, so I'm going to talk just a few minutes. <laughs> I thought, wow, you could make a homemade chili, put some of them little corn dog nuggets in the oven, and serve that on top of some corn, on some top of some good old hot chili with some cheese on it. Then you got something special. Whoa! I, I just lost my cheese. <laughs> That's okay. It went in the it went in the po the pan. So let's taste that. Y'all, you need to serve this up to them biggins and them little ones. They gonna love it. Every now and then we got to do some kind of easy peasy recipe. That's good. Fork drop. That is wonderful. Tomorrow here in Corning, Arkansas, we are having our harvest fest. So I'm going to take my camera and I'm going to film some of the crafts and the rides and the excitement. And it's a car show and kind of give you guys a highlight video. I'm going to try to upload that either Monday morning or late Sunday evening. But I just want to tell you guys, thank you for coming by and joining me in my kitchen and doing a recipe with me. Even these quick, easy ones. L listen to my dog bark in the background. <laughs> and my chickens crow and cluck. So you guys have a wonderful, blessed evening. I love you guys. Try this recipe because it's good. Until next time, I'm Grandma Nene.